everybody, and welcome back to the roller coaster ride that is the Paradox Mini Campaign, featuring myself as well as Mathis and Aruma. Say hello. 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 You know, normally we begin these with a recap, but what happened on the last episode was just so insane, and there was a lot of it, so I would recommend if you want to get up to speed, watch it for yourself, I'm and we can just get started. I still have no idea what even happened. <laughs> yeah, you, you transported over to Denmark, and now you're a female. Yes. Yeah, was Were that you your... I, I wonder what happened there. Like, if she was just the oldest person in your bloodline, or... What was if... your succession law? I don't remember. I, she, he definitely <laughs> had... I think he had agnatic cognatic, because... Uh, when I murdered his heir, then it said, like, uh, his next of, next in line was a, a female, so that would have been Agnetic Cognatic, I think, but I don't know. I don't know. It was crazy. Yeah, and we got another now I'm just trying to figure out what I can even do, and there's not much, really. Hmm. Yeah, for me, it's just all about trying to make sure vassals still like us, and, uh, Keeping people. I am so thrilled to not have to worry about vassal management <clears throat> again, starting in like 12 in game years. Yeah, we're that, really close. We years are away. very, very close. This will be the first time so probably either of you have ended a CK2 game, isn't it? Have you ever gotten this to the end of the game? This actually will be, yeah. yeah I've converted one before, but I always just converted it like uh, 1100 instead, which is kind of cheating, I guess. Hmm. Is he the leader of the... Oh, he is in the Duchy of Tangier. Unfortunately, I think I am going to pull out of this uh, war with a victory. Unfortunately? Well, unfortunately for you, because if France was independent, that would be nice. Unless you can't have a claim on them anymore. Uh, we uh, lost the Holy War CB. Yeah, sure. Hmm. What do you have going on? Nothing. All just, right. I have to go to the door. <laughs> Oh, okay. Totally. Nope. I'm totally being truthful right now, I swear. I, I don't trust this guy at all. I think he's trying to fabric fabricate a claim or find a seam somewhere to come no. in. No, I'm not doing that. Hmm. Well, with uh, 2,500 gold, I don't feel too bad about you have Yeah, you have quite a bit of money. That's pretty impressive. I have a lot of money right now. The trick is not summoning your own boats. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that was brutal. That's what happened to me. <laughs> okay, I'm good to go. Are you good? Sure. I yeah. guess we'll see, won't we? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I feel bad for the Kingdom of France because they're offering like all of the resistance, but not really achieving anything. Yes. Yeah, so I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm committing, committing genocide against the Tozera dynasty. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, I've, cha I've truce breaked twice now. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. Yeah. They're like, okay, just take the land, please. And, and we're like, okay. <laughs> By the way, we're declaring war on you <laughs> for the next next duchy over. I think I, mean, uh, I think Mathis is making moves inside of the Danish court. I can't make moves. There's nothing I can do. Oh, I thought I saw like a message that was like this guy just took some land. Oh, I was no. like, yeah. I'm not a guy, remember. Oh, sorry, this this lady. It oh. actually was a lady. Oh, no, no, I have no land. Like, the thing is, like, all the duchies I own are spread across the world. So if I was going to raise my troops, it would take years before I'd even have, like, all of them together. So fighting would just not work. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, this is going to be a big battle. Hmm, I'm running out of money here. This is not good. How am I at war with Mauritania? The Mauritanian troops are hostile to me. Don't be hostile. We're friends. Sort of. I freed you from the tyranny of the Aztecs. Oh, I'm knocked up. Oh, that was a very <laughs> vulgar way of stating that. But a truthful way. No, that's You're not wrong. Hmm. I captured the Aztec leader of Marrakesh. <laughs> What have you done? Let him rot. There's Aztec leaders in North Africa and... Oh my god. Yeah, it's all kinds of messy. I'm asking... <laughs> someone just talked to me about occultism. <laughs> I don't know if I'm about to like... Like we're gonna have a Wolfenstein scenario happening here or something. I don't like it though. I 
If I could just get a white pea- All we gotta do is make it till 1453. That's what I'm worried about. We don't have a lot of time. Yep. I know. I'm, I'm scared about that as well. Now I'm losing a war to the Breton Band because I ran out of money. <laughs> oh, man. It's a great sign. Mm. And of course, I have no retinue again. I keep on rebuilding this damn retinue and it just gets killed. <laughs> That's another stupid. reason I'm excited to not be playing uh, CK2 anymore, because then people can stop yelling at me for not building Red News ever, because I don't have Legacy of Rome and just never internalized that that's something you should do. <clears throat> but apparently it's really important. It yeah. is. It's kind of a big deal. I should really just get Legacy of Rome. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you don't have it. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just too lazy to either get or ask for it, I guess. <laughs> And you know, once you once you learn CK two, I don't want to rock the boat here. I've already it, it took me long enough to get to where I am now. I hear you. Why am I at war with Castile? Mathis? So that means I'm not I'm nowhere near there. <laughs> so you're not going to be playing uh, Rajas of India then? It's too much to you know. Well, I you know one one DLC at a time. There's such Why a back the catalog. Boat? Excuse me. Why rock the boat? Well, you know. <laughs> Because it's going to be great for SEO purposes. Ah, that's a good point. There you point. go. <laughs> France is proving quite troublesome. I don't even think you want the Maroomba. Well, <clears throat> Brittany, as, as, historians, as historians will note, was one of the most aggressive um, in the Reconquista. In <laughs> oh, yes. Re invaded, uh, <laughs> took back all of Africa. <clears throat> yeah. I remember that uh, from from the history books that I read all the time on a regular basis. I mean, if it weren't for them, we'd all be speaking Breton right now. Yeah, well, Frankish. It's a Frankish <laughs> Bre Brittany. <laughs> we don't believe... I've converted Dante's, but there's still some, some nasty Breton culture. Mm. And it's Cathar as well. That's all right. You got, you know, 11 years to sort out all the cultural and geopolitical problems. Shouldn't be an issue. Right now, I guarantee that if France was a real player, or the king of France was a real player, they would be so pissed that they're saddled with this awful duke as the war leader, because, like, he's all the way down here in Tangiers, and I'm just sacking the crap out of his holdings. I'm just going to imprison him, and then the war's over, and France becomes under my umbrella again. Wait, I don't, understand. I don't see what you're talking about. I see, I see 14,000 Frenchmen in sieging some of your land. Yeah, but the, but France isn't the war leader, so I compensate oh. for 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 their siege victories. When I take a, a primary holding of the actual war leader, then it's more annoying for them, I guess. <clears throat> so your strategy is to just tac tactically allow your countrymen to get raped and pillaged while you siege their her territory, and you win. You know, somehow when you phrase it, it sounds like a bad thing. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you're just letting them ransack the countryside. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, oh, unfortunately, I... a lot of my uh, a lot of my troops are depleted from a fruitless war, um, which ended in white peace against the Aztecs, and all Mathis got in return was a dead son and then a very weird Danish start. It's true. So you're more like a Danish end, really. So you're Emperor Mark, and you don't yep. even own England anymore. That's correct. I, I no longer know own England. <laughs> you, you gave it a. What? No, I, I lost it when I died. Oh my gosh. Oh, Albion is like a smattering now, too. It's and just, also, because of, just because of the war. It's going to be fine. Your character doesn't really have a, a mouth. Yeah. No, you're right. He doesn't he, have a he's, mouth. He's got a very weak, weak set of lips on him. Well, uh, why don't you check out these set of lips, Arumba? <laughs> I don't know what you mean when you say things like that. <laughs> it's just confused me. I'm not exactly. up and up on all this stuff. That's that's my main uh, technique when it comes to, you know, the war of information. Just shock and awe. <sighs> I don't know. You sound dejected. Look at, look, no, well, I mean, it's just annoying that I have to deal with this many civil wars. But look at Spain right now. Look at that quilt of... <laughs> yeah, it's like jacked up. Bunch of like after the day after Halloween, like your kid threw up on the carpet oh, or something man, like that. The, the Aztec Emperor, whoever took over after I died, like did a worse job. Yeah, he's not doing so great. He's like barely yeah, Mar he barely exists. He released Mauritania, the kingdom in North Africa. Mm, oh, that's why they're not happy with me. They're not vassals anymore. 
Yeah. Mm. All right, there's so many troops to manage simultaneously here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about how when we when we poured it over, it's yeah. gonna have been so long, like so so brief that we've held the territory. All this territory is gonna be the wrong religion. <laughs> so I'm gonna start up yeah. with like 40% religious unity, and it's all gonna be the wrong culture. <laughs> it's just it's is not gonna bad? be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's bad. Um, meanwhile, I'm trying to suck it up with the Pope because I need money. <laughs> mm. But it is what it is. Yeah. It's a historical sandbox, right? Yep. A anything could happen, positive or negative. Oh, this guy refuses to accept white peace in this war. That's good news. There's just not even an option. <laughs> God, France is real annoying. Am I correct in my assumption that when I hit 100% uh, of this guy's, the primary war holders, war leaders' holdings, then I'll be able to piece him out? Possibly. That was, uh, that was a confusing to, way of saying it, but... You need to take back some of the sieges that they took. You can't win the war if they have, um, like... There's, like, a hard cap on siege scores. Okay. So, if they have too much sieged, you'll need to siege some back. If I can just white piece them, I'd be thrilled. It's going to be your siege scores, um, minus their siege scores, plus your ticking war score. Mm. Oh, right. I, don't, I was like, why, why does Albion have this weird red color in the middle? And then I remembered the whole I don't own England part. That's... <laughs> yeah, that's a big deal. You don't own England. You don't own France. You are at war with everyone. <laughs> yeah. And you know what did it? Is it was Mathis good fucking it was his Pyrrhic war. <laughs> good, you should just give me Portugal, you wouldn't have to deal with it. Well, you basically decided like we could have both had a really strong start going into EU four, but for four counties One of you, you two could, needed to give me land. For four counties what? you decided to, to throw it all away. For both of us maybe. <laughs> but no. definitely for you. <laughs> no, it was your stalling tactics that caused the problems. Mm, I don't think so. I mean, yeah, think about it. You lost about ten thousand men in a in a fight. Against yep. me, that didn't go anywhere. Mm, and yep. and you killed his heir. That was the other problem. That's what caused his empire to fall apart. That's true. Yeah, no, that that's because Mathis went. He, he doubled down on uh, making sure that I lost a ton in that war. So I wanted to. We it was slash and burn, man. <laughs> it was total war. I needed to go up there because I couldn't win the war if you had my shit. Mm. I don't know why you, you value Portugal so much. That's all I'm saying. Why do you value it so much? It's not even part of a... Uh, I own English. it! <laughs> you only own it! Because... I took it. I took it from the AI. <laughs> and then I tried That's to take it from land, you, man. and now look at what happened. Oh, I'm just a duchess. Well, I don't care. I'm content. Yeah, it's, I was going to say, no, it's, it's been way worse for you than it has been <laughs> for me, even though I am uh, behind the eight ball in these wars. It's okay. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to beat France, though. I don't think you will. Yeah, it's problems, becoming a little scary now. I'm not Cathar anymore, so I can't declare war on France, and I have no claim on it. You know what's funny? France is owned by Divre, Divrea, whatever, which is the exact same dynasty. Well, you seem to have uh, an interruption to your, your thought there when you were talking. I and was trying strikes... to find Mathis on the screen. What? Mm, yeah, it wasn't a pop-up or anything that showed up. No. No, that would be unusual, wouldn't it? <laughs> Why? A game like this, uh, bringing up pop-ups. What? I don't even know what's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> Aruba killed my son. Oh, okay. Well, you killed Mathis. Mathis' son. Is that how we're gonna do this? We got the, we're got we stabbing each other in the back. It's it was up. a plot. It was a plot. Don't you dare start trying to assassinate. Mm, I'm not clicking the assassinate button. There's no way I'm gonna click the assassinate button. But I may or may not have clicked the plot button. I'm gonna pick and up the paranoid trait right now. And it may or may not be firing uh, as we speak. You're never going to get me. I don't need to get you. Oh, I'm dead. I died you of passed. I've died of poor health. You killed Jesus. Yep. That's what you get. <laughs> an eye for an eye. No. Oh, well, your air now is the Huekel Pixki of Gascon. <laughs> What's up with that? That's messed up. <laughs> oh, it's a funny way of saying it. I have to imagine that your people would not feel great about being ruled by an Aztec and a woman, no less. She's not an Aztec, is she? Well, She's married. She's married to the Huekelpixki of Gascony. 
Yes. And she's got children who are not in my dynasty, so that that's not a good heir to have. Mm, yeah, you're telling me. Yeah. I'd hope that you'd have a child. Probably, well, I don't know what the time to fire is, but soon, I would say, is probably a good call. I've discovered a plot where the Mark of Albion seeks to kill me. Yeah. Mm, that doesn't seem likely, actually. All right. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I accepted your, your offer to end the plot, Aruba. I see that, but now the Bahri Sultanate has showed up with 25,000 troops to defend this little bastard that I've been taking land from. Oh, I hate the AI sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you killed my child. That's just kind of a... I don't know. Why'd you kill mine? Because you declared war on me. Did my, <laughs> but, but did my child declare war on you? I mean, he was innocent. <laughs> yeah, he, it was... It was uh, every man for himself at that point. You declare war on me. Apparently, some things are not uh, not okay. <laughs> I was under the assumption that I could basically, uh, you know, do whatever I needed to do to win, but I guess not. Hmm. I have ten thousand, eleven thousand retinue cap, and I can't even make troops because I just keep on dying. <clears throat> well, hopefully that. Maybe, oh, now I feel bad, but two plots just tried to fire at once. Thanks. Why are you killing oh. me? Like, you, you are, you're literally going to shatter my entire empire right now. You, you killed my son! You killed mine! You killed mine first! It... <laughs> All right, I'm ending the plot in good faith. No, you're not. No, I it am... doesn't even matter. You've already fired it, like, three times. Okay. But yeah, seriously, no, like, my, my heir is a woman who is married and is already 44... Okay, all right. I've, so I've canceled then the plot. It's, it's done. The whole <laughs> dynasty goes to like some other fucking family. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be destructive. It was just an Ooh. eye for an eye, and it's it's easier to make sure your second eye two. doesn't get poked out if you poke out the other guy's two eyes. Yeah, two eyes for one. It was an eye for an eye. It was two for one. Well, it shouldn't I be see. an eye for an eye. You poked my eye out first, so I don't know. Maybe you're gonna poke out multiple eyes. Why would I do that? Well, I don't know. Why would you kill me? In the, why would you poke my eye out in the first place? It's a wild because situation. <laughs> Because you killed Mathis' son. But Mathis isn't... That's, I poked out Mathis' eye, now you have to poke out one of my eyes? Everyone's going to be blind pretty soon. That's exactly right. I don't even yeah, see what's should, going on anymore. You started it. It's not an eye for an eye anymore. It's anybody's eye for anybody's eye. It's, it's just chaos. <laughs> it's out of control. All, all that I can hope for is that my character, who's 71 now, and I took an event that reduced my health by one, lives until the end of the game, which is in seven years. Yeah. Otherwise, everything falls to part, falls to pieces. Who do you guys have bets on being the first to reach the new oh. world? I'm, I'm thinking uh, the Count of Nantes have a, has a good chance. <laughs> as, as we're speaking, of course, I, now I died, naturally. I have to tell you that that is not my doing. Sincerely, oh. there was no plot of mine that was firing there. But what is going on in Europe right now. <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta analyze this. Okay, so... Now, <laughs> Independence Faction. This is awesome. This is so great. <laughs> this whole thing's a disaster. Also, now I own Brittany, or Brittany is just a beautiful pink color that is exactly the same as Albion. Yeah, it's not the same color. Slightly it's more purple. Close. You, you have a good point, actually. On first glance, I thought that was, uh... I thought that was me, but it's not. Fair enough. What the hell just happened with my succession? Like, look at this. Look at Brittany. All of yeah. the people within the Duchy of Brittany are independent. The Duchy, du like the actual Duchy <laughs> of Brittany doesn't exist. I'm the queen of frickin' Brittany. Yeah. And I didn't even inherit Brittany. <laughs> like, it's the primary title. Like, I don't, I don't understand what's just happened. Look at your heir's name, Arumba. That is who your president might be leading into EU4. Mm. A cacatitly of El Hakim. That's the heir, but it's not of my dynasty. That's not who I'll play as next. Okay. I have no heir to my... If I, if I die, the game is over. Oh, okay. Because you killed Jesus. <laughs> you killed my son as well! I didn't kill your only heir. You killed my only oh, son. Oh, here we go. I punched you in the in the <laughs> chest. You didn't have to punch me in the face. You should. If nobody's throwing punches, it would have been fine. You started it. <laughs> you killed Mathis. <laughs> Mathis declared war on me. Okay, this is complicated. <laughs> okay, you ready? Like yeah, for sure. We'll try. You you own, by the way, uh, like 
Sardinia. I think you already knew that, though. Um, and you, I like that really historical-looking Sicily. But anyway, <laughs> uh, are you guys ready to, to finish the episode, then? I guess so, yeah. I mean, yeah, as long as I don't die in the next seven years, maybe I can still consider myself Brittany. <laughs> I don't know. Well, so as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to show your support by clicking the like button. It does help out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe uh, to whoever you're watching and check the video descriptions below to get uh, the viewpoints of the people who are playing on the other ends of the world right now. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. See you Once soon. Once we get, get a pause.